Hey guys, Boostmaster here. Today's video is something very, very special. I just bought something old school and very unique. Take a look at my 2008 Norco A-Line. This used to be my dream bike back in 2008. When I would see this bike in the magazines, I would drool over this thing. And you see that fork? That's actually something really special. This is a 2003 Marzocchi Monster T. This bike comes stock with a Marzocchi 888, but I think it's way more epic with the Monster T. So when I saw this bike on Pink Bike with the Monster T and everything, I thought, my goodness, I really want to get my hands on this thing. So some of you guys might be wondering, okay, but why did I really buy this thing? I mean, yes, like I said, it's my dream bike from 2008, but I mean, it's so old and now I've got new bikes, awesome bikes that I really enjoy. So why did I really need this thing? Well, one of the things I'm really interested in doing is exploring some of the past of mountain bike technology, such as bikes like this. There's actually a lot of products and technology that I never got to ride before because they were just a bit before my time, such as the Monster T. So you know what? I want to ride it. I want to explore where the industry really came from, what was good about these old bikes and what was not so good. Maybe I'll really learn to appreciate our modern day bikes, or maybe not. But now with my 16 years of riding experience as my perspectives and preferences have changed, I'm really curious to revisit our past. All right, so now that we've established all that, why don't we take a look at the build on this bike? Starting here with the Monster T. So like I said, this is a 2003. It's a coil fork. I believe those are 40 mil stanchions. The adjustments on this fork, we got a compression dial, we got a rebound dial, and then we got a high speed compression on the lower leg. So this fork is an absolute beast. I think it weighs like 12 pounds, I think is what they are saying. Honestly, there's not a ton that's stock on this bike anymore but I do believe this is the stock rear shock, the Marzocchi Rocco TST. We can change it between eight and nine inches of travel. With this thing up here, you can change the bottom bracket height to be a bit lower or higher. The previous owner did put on some gold pedals as well as a pimpin gold chain as well. He also stuck on this Azonic handlebar, which is pretty old school looking. And he put on these Hayes Prime brakes. These brakes are actually just dual piston, but he put on nine inch rotors on this thing. The rims, however, are the stock rims. These are Sunringle S-Type. They're pretty heavy, but really strong. So the tires on here are both Maxxis Minions. The front one is an older 2.7 inch wide, while the rear is a 2.5. Otherwise, we've got the stock cranks and seat. So this Monster T seems to be in really good shape. The previous owner said that it was ridden probably one dozen times at the most. And overall, the whole bike is actually in very good shape. I'm very happy with this find. So I want to show you something really interesting about this bike. Because of how wide the Monster T is, how far away it is from the frame, you actually get a surprisingly good turning radius. Look at that. That is crazy. Pretty much any other downhill fork from nowadays will get you something like, maybe like this. And this bike will get you that. Oh yeah, you probably also noticed, this is a size small slash medium. There was only two sizes back then, a medium large and a small medium. So for those who don't know, bikes were already smaller back then. And it's a size small medium. So it's actually pretty small. Also, if you look at this stem, it's measuring at about 60 millimeters. So that at least helps somewhat. But yeah, I would definitely prefer the uh, medium large sizing. This is definitely a tad small. But you know what? I'm not gonna be too picky. I'm just glad I could get my hands on this. Since I want to give this bike a fair shot and make sure it's dialed in for me, I'm going to show this to my friend Ben. He knows more about this old school technology and the way these bikes are built, so maybe he can help me to understand how to dial this thing in for me. <laughs> yes. This is not the sickest thing. This is awesome. A-line. Oh, Monster yeah. team. <gasps> that's what a Marzocchi fork feels like. Oh my god, that's sick. We discovered that I have the wrong coil on this shock. We need a 3.25 stroke coil as opposed to a 3.0, because with a shorter stroke coil, you could bind it. And I just so happen to have the appropriate coil lying around. As, as a ticketed mechanic, I would get rid of that right yeah, away, and I, I, would, I would check everything. And after examining everything, there was a few weird quirks I also found, like this plate was put on backwards that the coil sits on, and the rear tire was put on backwards. Even though the bike's in good condition, as far as I can tell, you really want to check over everything. 
I ended up just putting a Magic Mary on the rear because I kind of like it better. There were a few bolts I wanted to change out because they were getting a bit stripped, including these ones in the handlebar. And honestly, I don't know what I'm going to think of this handlebar, you guys. But you know what? I got to ride it. I got to see what it's like. This kind of a bike's almost like you ride a Whistler once a year and hang it on the wall for decoration. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's really cool. I want to like take care of this thing. I think so. you got to get your roach pads out and your yeah, yeah. <laughs> oldest jersey you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, this bike is looking nice. And we got a weight, of course, coming in at 50 pounds. My suspension is feeling great, so what do you say we meet up with my friend Wesley at the North Shore? That's right, Wesley bought himself a 2007 Giant Glory, and so today is all about kicking it old school. See what you think. Feel it. Just feel how heavy it is. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's heavy. Yeah. It feels like it's meant for no footers. Oh yeah, dude. In case you're wondering what kind of bar width we're working with here, mine's 690 millimeters and Wesley's is 710. Yikes. We are here on Mount Seymour and I wanted to do a long descent so we started up at CBC. It's a pretty old school trail, so I thought it might be appropriate to ride this as our first trail. CBC, yo! Oh. Send it. Yes. Yeah. Sick. No. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, dude. This is so cool. How is that? It's so sick. That's sick. Okay, I'm really feeling these skinny bars. It's not the greatest, I gotta admit. <laughs> I can feel it too. It's just. The, the bike is feeling good, like the suspension is good. Honestly, so far the only complaint is just like, I'm a little too cramped with the skinny bars. Yeah, I feel a little cramped with these. That's... I can feel the shortness in the bike. Yeah. But it's like really poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. I felt like I hit my derailleur or something back there. Oh, okay, wait up, wait up. My derailleur is uh, not shifting. So it's like, oh, it's like I just, it's like the cable just kind of got like pulled outwards. So I definitely smashed my derailleur really good and it doesn't seem fixable. What we were able to do is just leave it stuck into one gear and leave it at that. I'm gonna have to ride down like this in this gear for the rest of the, of this run. <laughs> it's working good. Too bad I'm in like the wrong gear though. <laughs> Let's see here. It's a little more techy here. All right. Oh, what? They cut this log up. That's weird. So sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Woo. Do it. 
Oh, freshly cut. Sick. All right, let's drop this. Yo! Woo. Definitely appreciate the longer bikes now. Yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, like I, I, I especially appreciate the wider bars. And yes, I can appreciate the longer bikes as well. But the thing is, we're not even on the largest sizing available for these bikes. Wesley's on a size medium glory and I'm on a small medium Norco A-line. So what if we were on the large sizing? I wonder how much difference that would make. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There we go, how about that? Yes! Woo! <laughs> Sick! <laughs> CBC is tackled. Probably the most janky trail we're gonna do today, so. Yeah, I gotta say, the suspension feels nice. It's doing its job, I'm quite happy. So I can kind of tell this bike is like, better at like some lower speed kind of stuff. Like say like doing skinnies, tight corners. Right. I would love to do incline, but not today. We'll do corkscrew for the time being. Woo. Sick. Oh, it really shines on this trail. That was, that was fun. That was so fun. Now I feel like I can like get the feel of this bike better, to be honest. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's sick. Oh. Woo! Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Yes. Dude, you know what? I can't wait to put on different handlebars on this thing. That's gonna ch totally change the feel. How's the bike been feeling so far? It's like riding two pogo sticks. <laughs> Wheels on it. Yeah. Down and down. It's bouncy really fun, jumps really well, but it's out of control. Yeah. Like, it's not stable. Yeah, I, I was kind of hoping I'd feel a bit more like, I don't know, stability or control with the suspension. The suspension feels good, but I think maybe it's still just to do with the, again, the handlebar width, the size of the frame, maybe that's like all it is, but I don't know. Wesley also has a YouTube channel and he also posted a video of today's ride. So make sure you go check out his perspective and his ride on the 2007 Giant Glory. So far, the best things on my bike seem to be the suspension, which feels really good, and the brakes are surprisingly powerful, considering how heavy the bike is. And we are finding on these newer and flowier trails, we are able to get the hang of these bikes even more, and we were just having more and more fun the further we went down. I'm starting to like this bike more and more. So, doing Pangor, it's a uh, blue slash black diamond. I think that just means it has black diamond features, so. Looking forward to that. I remember this being a pretty cool trail. Oh, yes. Woo, sick. I love it. Woo. Oh, yeah, sending. Yes. Sick, man. Oh. Let's do it. Oh. Wow. You know what? Those roots are crazy. I want to go down this right here. Let's try to find up better here. Oh, that's sketchy. Oh my goodness. Woo. 
Whoa! <laughs> I buzzed the seat again. I gotta raise the seat. So this video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon and they are amazing sponsors of my channel because they directly fund my channel which gives me the freedom and the opportunity to do fun projects like this. And if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a site where you can pledge money to your favorite creators and help them do what they do best and get rewarded in the process. For example, if you pledge $3 or more a month, you get extended cuts of almost all my videos. This video in particular is 45 minutes long for my patrons, and sometimes there's bonus content as well, or if you pledge $7 a month or more, you'll get some free stickers, $15 a month, you'll get name in the credits. There's different options, and I encourage you guys to check it out, because if you like what I'm doing here, if you think this is a fun idea and you want to see more, please check out my Patreon page, because they are the reason why I'm able to do stuff like this. Yeah, see, the suspension feels sick. Oh, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, dude. That's lit. Woo, this is sick. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. Poor kid. Yo, that's good, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. That's it. You know what? It's like the short and high, it does make it harder to like keep your balance on skinnies. Which is funny because these bikes are like built when the skinnies were a thing. I know. I and then they're like short and high. I think the short part might be all right, but. The short part was good for hopping off like skinnies. Yeah, but the high, high center of gravity, the high handlebars, yeah, they right. don't really help. <laughs> good times, man. Yeah. Nice. We're definitely having a lot of fun today and I'm loving the fact that I can finally get a chance to ride this old school bike and try this Monster T for the first time. It's pretty heavy, but it's actually pretty sick. drop it. Might as well just drop it. Shout out to Brendan McMartin for filming us. He's got a YouTube page and an Instagram page, so why don't you go check him out? We are finishing today's ride on Boogie Nights, a great flow trail with sweet berms and jumps. And we were surprised to find out that this is actually the best part of our whole ride. Oh yeah! That was a sick burn. Woo! Oh, these berms are lit. Oh yeah! That is mint. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Yes! 
Yeah! Woo! That was so sick. Oh yeah. Dude, whoa! Bust in my seat again. That was pretty sick. Dude, what the heck? That was sick. Dude, right on. That was so sick. <laughs> we were railing that, this morning. Dude, that was so good. How are we going that fast on these bad boys? <laughs> yeah, man. We really were surprised at how the flow trails actually felt the best on these bikes. Personally, I kind of thought that the techier, jankier stuff might have felt better, but honestly, the flow stuff works super well. Maybe that's because of the smaller frame size. And speaking of small frame size, obviously I, I got the size small medium. And if I already had a lot of fun on this bike, it would be even better if I could get the bigger frame. So I just wanted to reach out to any of you guys. If you guys have this exact frame, the 2008 Norco A-Line Park Edition frame in the size medium slash large sizing, I'm interested in buying it. Hopefully it's in good condition, but I'll say I'm definitely on the lookout. Overall, fun factor is high. Sick. But I think I'll have to ride more. Figure it out. Yeah. All right guys, what a ride. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. It was so cool to be able to ride some old school bikes and we both had a ton of fun. So what did I really think of the bike? I mean, the first thing I noticed of course is just the skinny bars, you know, 690 millimeters is just, it's just too skinny. It's funny cause yeah, I used to ride skinnier bars like that. Like, I don't know, 2010, 2011. I used to have like 700 mil, 690, 680. I don't know, it was crazy but I was way more into your jumping back then and skinny bars were cool for like X ups and stuff like that. But otherwise it feels like a downhill free ride bike, which is a lot of fun. You know, bikes are fun. It's not like it felt like anything foreign or anything. It felt pretty familiar actually. Now, maybe I am just old school and to be honest, I kind of am. But when you look at the geometry, like the head angle honestly is the same as my other downhill bikes. The bottom bracket height is a bit high, but honestly, the only complaint I really have is just how short it is. So I do appreciate how bikes have gotten a bit longer from this. And sure, you can cringe at how heavy the bike is. The Monster T doesn't help with that. Though the suspension felt really good. It was definitely the highlight of this bike, but I do want to get more experience on it and get a bit more familiar. So far, this was a pretty positive experience for an old school ride. But the truth is, 2008 isn't the most old school you can go. There's definitely older school than this. But I'm just saying, with this particular bike, it's pretty sweet. And I know I'm gonna have a much better experience with it if I put on the proper size bars and if I were to get a larger frame. I'm also interested in trying a better front tire since this one's a bit old. So I do wanna upgrade and modernize a couple things there and I wanna see how well I can shred on this old bike. But I want to hear your guys' opinion. Did you enjoy this video? What do you think? Do you want to see more videos like this? What would you guys like to see me ride with this A-Line? And what kind of upgrades do you think I should do to it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. I got stickers for sale if you want to support me in that way, or my Patreon page is the best way to support me. Thanks, guys. See you guys next time.